Tensions in the Middle East are once again sparking debate in Washington as progressive lawmakers call for an immediate halt of U.S. weapons transfers to Israel amid the worsening humanitarian crisis in Gaza. At the forefront, Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders announcing his plans for several joint resolutions of disapproval with the aim of blocking offensive weapons transfers to Israel. The Foreign Assistance Act and the Arms Export Control Act are very clear. The United States cannot provide weaponry to countries that violate internationally recognized human rights or block U.S. humanitarian aid. Clearly, what is happening in Gaza today is unspeakable. But what makes it even more painful is that much of what is happening there has been done with U.S. weapons and with American taxpayer support. The United States of America is complicit in these atrocities. That complicity must end, and that is what these resolutions are about. The resolution does face significant opposition, however, with most critics contending that halting military support would not only harm Israel's ability to defend itself, but also would potentially damage ties between Israel and the U.S. So far, the current administration has stayed quite mum on the topic, with Biden's term coming to an end two months from now. But more than anything, the debate over weapons transfers to Israel underscores the growing divides in the U.S., where bipartisan support for Israel has historically been the norm.